hello guys so today we are going to learn interface types in palo alto firewall so there are five types of interfaces they are basically uh, tap and uh, one one of first type is tap second one is virtual wire third is ha fourth one is layer 3 and fifth one is layer 2 so these five types of interfaces uh, are there so let me just show you in the firewall that how they are and then we will discuss them one by one all right so let's just quickly jump to the gui of our firewall so this is the gui and uh, if i go to the network and select any of the interface here and uh, in the interface type if i go to the drop down here you see these five types of the interfaces are there so the first type is basically our tap all right and uh, tap is basically for the monitoring of the traffic or let me just uh, go to the desktop and then explain you that will be a better idea the first type is tap mode so if any of the interface is configured as tap what it can be do right it can be doing so let us suppose we are having an internal network this is our internal network it is going to any of the switch which can be web facing or like outside after that one we can have a router right and we can have like web facing or internet facing firewall as well if required but let me take it as an internet that this is like outside so this router is basically a web router we can say that is facing the internet after that when we are having a switch and from that this switch what we can do we can configure a span port a span is basically mirroring the traffic it means that whatever the traffic is going inside and uh, going out of this interface entering from this interface and going out of this interface that we can mirror to this port it means that copy of that packet will be sent to this interface as well let me change the color so means that this is the incoming packet this is outgoing packet and the mirror is on this interface and on this interface i will put a firewall here all right this can be our pa that is a palo alto firewall and interface of this firewall will be configured as a tap mode so you see the scenario here that this firewall is not coming in between the traffic right our traffic is passing from here this is our internal network so from internal to internet it is traveling it is not coming in between this firewall is not something like here it is not like this right it is actively monitoring monitoring the traffic whatever is passing through these switches so that's why we also call it as an ids ids means intrusion detection system it can just detect the traffic whatever is ongoing but it cannot uh, any uh, it cannot take any action that allow or deny or any action it just passively watching whatever is ongoing it is like an old guy watching what is ongoing he cannot do any actions if any kidnapping is happening he can just tell other guys okay someone has kidnapped your kid or any theft is happening he can just tell yes theft is ongoing but he cannot stop that theft okay so this is like an old guy now how the configuration is done let's see quickly the configuration is very simple uh, but uh, i cannot show you exactly because for this monitoring of the, this traffic we need uh, large number of computers then only the monitoring is being done right but let me show you the configuration that how this is done so for this tap mode first we normally create a mode uh, in fact the zone name normally we put it as tab zone you can put any name here 
right and uh, just hit enter and in this tab mode in tab zone and I have to create an interface as well of the type tab so let me configure this interface the topology is like this our traffic is traveling traveling from here to there this is our normal traffic and from this switch I have configured the span the mirroring of the traffic so the mirrored traffic is being sent on this interface and I will configure this interface ethernet 1 slash 1 as in a tap mode of the firewall so ethernet 1 slash 1 and let me configure it as a tap mode that's it it's quite simple security zone I have just created a tab zone hit enter this is done another thing we have to configure that is the policies so in the policies I have to select from source tap zone any traffic coming to our tap zone and going to the destination tab zone I think something is missing in general let's see name okay so let's see allow tap traffic I have not selected any of the IP address because I want to allow all the IP addresses to the firewall so that's why I have just selected from any traffic coming from the tab zone means that our mirrored traffic that will be allowed to go to the firewall and just you have to commit it that's it I, I cannot exactly show you that uh, uh, that how the traffic is showing over there this is being done on this ACC tab here so let me uh, to help you out uh, I will uh, show you the screenshot that uh, how exactly shows us let me go to ACC tab as well so in the ACC tab we are having these many options like network activity so as of now it's showing us no data to display but whenever we are having a large number of computers and traffic is ongoing over there it shows that how many sessions are there how many threats we are seeing here right what is the content it is ongoing what are the URLs what are the users are there you can also view our threat activities what is causing threat to our network how many activities has been blocked based on the signatures available on this firewall and these signatures are also synced up with the cloud of the Palo Alto networks they keep on syncing right we have an update option we will come to that later on so that was about the tap mode another mode was virtual wire uh, before going to our uh, virtual wire mode let us see that what exactly look like our uh, ACC tab I have to go to the Chrome and uh, ACC tab in Palo Alto let's have a review this is the first two in, uh, screenshot we are having here right so this is like how it looks like here uh, we are having a like a network activity like this right uh, we are having network activities it is visible like this we are having a source reason on the bytes how does it look like destination reasons that's how it looks like normally and uh, let's just jump to some other screenshot which are similar to that uh, let's have a look on this right oh this is better I think interact with ACC let's just check this one this should be interesting no it is not that one it's better to be view here so that's how it is actually uh, this looks like and uh, this is not a video yeah so basically this is it actually that's how it looks like and you can have multiple options here in the identity management and all 
you can just explore it uh, after this session that how this uh, image looks like in the Palo Alto. So it basically gives you the GUI, in fact, the summary of the threat and the traffic, whatever is ongoing through that interfaces, right? So that's what we want. Uh, this is basically an IDS monitoring of the network. So this is just collecting all the logs and showing you, uh, showing you that uh, how the traffic is traveling, what are the threats and all. This is another one threat activity so that's how a threat activity shows that what is a spyware vulnerability are there in the network this is it i think uh, let's jump to our uh, virtual wire second option is virtual wire Let's take the same scenario. This is our internal network. After that one, we may be having a switch here. After that one, we can have a router. And then it is going to the internet or outside of, of our network. So in the previous scenario, we deployed a firewall here on mirroring this traffic on this interface that was monitoring the traffic but because of the watching the traffic passively it is not taking any action on the traffic that whether to allow or deny so solution of that one is virtual wire what we are going to do now we will cut it here right let's see uh, we cut this wire here and deploy our firewall now if you might be thinking right ki if we, uh, we cut it here and uh, connect on these interfaces we have to configure some of the ip addresses here right then only it can be integrated or not if then if we implement implementing like switch then we have to configure some vlan to allow the traffic on this one so for that purpose we are having a virtual wire in the virtual wire mode you don't have to do any configuration what you ex uh, simply do you just cut this wire and configure these interfaces of the palo alto firewall and configure them as a virtual wire this one also virtual wire and just implement it so whenever we are doing like virtual wire it is not and ip right we are not configuring any of the ip so what are the benefits of uh, doing this one that uh, we don't have to uh, change the topology not required means we simply deploy in any of the in between traffic means the traffic was ongoing i just uh, disconnect the lan cable here plug it this way and another which was going here i plugged this way that's it so very simple very simple in configuration so change of topology not required all right another option is there no ttl means that this uh, firewall is not deploying mm -hmm. like a router it's not a router so whatever the traffic will be coming from here they will not see this firewall as an hop whatever the traffic coming simply going to this one nobody will come to know that a firewall is implemented here and that is taking an action to allow or deny the traffic so that is also that it is transparent to the network but some problems as well like uh, we cannot do routing routing not available if you want to do any of the routing uh, any bgp or os static routes that is not possible because this is not an router and l3 interface right so routing is not available on this virtual wire so this is about a virtual wire the third option was there 
that uh, the sim uh, the configuration part i'm not telling because this is quite simple you just have to connect and configure the interfaces in the virtual wire that's it nothing else you have to do no other conf uh, no other configuration can be very similar like uh, you are applying uh, policies to allow or deny the traffic or doing nat and all so they are very similar the third option is ha so i'm not going to discuss too much about about ha because we will cover it up on the uh, whenever we will be doing in the detail the ha configuration but just to tell the short uh, ha is basically a high availability means that when one of the firewall goes down then the traffic is shifted to another firewall like this so in order to sync up both the firewalls we need some interfaces to coordinate with each other like this these are the two firewalls the traffic is traveling like this this is our internal network this is our external then traffic is traveling like this so we need some coordination between these two firewalls to sync up the configuration and the sessions we need some communication between them so this interfaces are configured as an ha interface so that's it as of now so that's how we can use it in the ha mode but we will cover it in detail what is this ha how to configure ha and with full detail another type of the interface was layer 3 or layer 2 whatever you take it let's take as layer 3 so layer 3 is very simple just uh, like one router if you configure any of the firewall interface and layer 3 you can configure any of the routing protocols and your uh, interface can work as in a router but whenever you are using layer 3 you have to configure a virtual router as well what is this virtual router and all we have already discussed if you have not watched the video you can watch the previous video that what virtual router actually does right another type was layer 2 so layer 2 is clear from its name it is simple switch configuration we can configure as an uh, vlan on this and the traffic can be traveling from one vlan to another vlan this simple switch nothing else you can configure the interfaces on the layer 2 and you can configure the vlan that's it like uh, vlan uh, 200 here and 200 here 200 here so these all will be communicating that traffic will be forwarded to all of them it's simple switching if you know ccna well and see what is the switch you can easily understand this one so that was it about the interfaces and the configuration part we will be coming up uh, in the whenever the scenarios will be coming i will be taking up these interfaces and will be using according to our requirement so this was about the introduction of these uh, interfaces in the palo alto firewall all right guys this was it uh, this is it on this session see you soon in the next session